Today I'm going to talk about the vocabulary or the words you need to know to be able to do algebra. Equations say that a value of an expression is equal to the value of another expression. What does that mean? It means that 2 plus 3 is equal to 5, or that 2 plus y is equal to 8. Can you guess what y might be? Did you guess 6? Here it says that z minus 4 is equal to 10. What number would you guess is there? Did you guess 6? Well, you'd be incorrect. The answer would be 14. Can you tell why? Now press pause and try to think of an equation of your own. That means there's something on one side and something on the other, and they're going to be equal to each other. A variable is a letter or a symbol that can change in value. We don't always know all the numbers, so we need to show the missing number by using a letter or a symbol. For example, symbols can also vary in each problem. If I had 2 plus a heart equals 5, what would the heart equal? What if I had a heart plus 3 equal 10. Now what does the heart equal? An expression is similar to an equation, but there is no equal sign on here. You can see this is only one side of an equation. Factors. A factor is a number that divides exactly into another one. So, 7 is a factor of 14. What are all the factors of 14? Well, well, there's 1, there's 2, there is 7, and there is 14. Because 1 times 14 is 14, and 2 times 7 is 14. What about the factors of 36? There's a lot of those. 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 12, 18, and 36. Can you see how 1 times 36 is 36? 2 times 18 is 36? 3 times 12 is 36? And 4 times 9 is 36? All of these are factors of 36. Can you press pause and list all the factors of 10? An inverse operation, inverse, is an operation that would undo each other. So for example, addition and subtraction, 5 plus 4 equals 9, and 9 minus 5 equals 4. They undo each other. Inverse sounds like the word reverse to me. These are almost the reverse of each other. Multiplication and division are also inverse operations of each other. 2 times 3 equals 6, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. And finally, prime numbers. It's a number with two unique factors, only one in itself. The only two digits that equal 7 when you multiply is 1 and 7. No other digits will equal 7. 6, though, is not prime because 1 2, 3, and 6 are all factors of 6. On this final slide, get a piece of paper and fold it into sixths. You can have mom and dad help you with that if you'd like. And then label these six different sections. Go ahead and turn the paper landscape so you can get these all on and write equation, variable, expression, factors, inverse operation, prime numbers. And then, if you need to, go back to the video and write your own example for an, for an equation, a variable, an expression, factors, inverse operation, and prime numbers, and bring that in with you. I can't wait to see you tomorrow.